And the fifth part of the question, f of x equal to x plus 1 the whole cube into x minus 3 the whole cube. So what we will do first, we will find f dash x. Here we have to apply product rule. So first function, x plus 1 the whole cube into second term is of the form x raised to n. Its derivative is n into 3 into x minus 3 the whole square n into x raised to n minus 1 into we have to take the derivative of x minus 3 also derivative of x is 1 and a derivative of minus 3 is 0 so into 1 same term I am not writing that plus second term x minus 3 the whole square into we have to take the derivative of the first one first term is again of the form x raised to n its derivative is 3 into x plus 1 the whole square n x raised to n minus 1 into we have to take the derivative of x plus 1 which is 1 what we will do here is we will take the term common here because as a next step we have to differentiate, uh, sorry, we have to equate this term to 0 and find the value of x. So what is common? x plus 1 the whole square is common. x minus 3 the whole square is common. So x minus 3 the whole square came out, x plus 1 the whole square came out. So the balance in the first term is 3 into x plus 1. Ah, if needed we can take 3 also outside, okay. Plus again 3 is there from here what all came out uh, here x minus 3 the whole cube is there from x minus 3 the whole cube x minus 3 the whole square came out so it is x minus 3. Okay so when simplified I am taking 3 also outside so 3 into x plus 1 the whole square into x minus 3 the whole square into x plus 1 plus x minus 3 isn't it. That is equal to 3 into x plus 1 the whole square into x minus 3 the whole square into x plus x gives you 2x, 2x minus 2, 2x minus 2, that is the term you are getting here, 2x minus 2. If I take it 2 outside, what I get? 2 into x minus 1. Okay, so if I take 2 to the constant 3, what I get is 6 into x plus 1 the whole square into x minus 3 the whole square into x minus 1. Equate f dash x to 0. So what we get 6 into x plus 1 the whole square into x minus 3 the whole square into x minus 1 equal to 0 which implies if I equate this term to 0 we are getting the value of x as minus 1. If I equate x minus 3 to 0 we are getting the value as 3 and when I equate x minus 1 to 0 we are getting the value as 1. So minus 1, 3, 1. When I arrange in ascending order we are getting minus 1, 1 and 3. So break the interval minus infinity to infinity. So first minus 1, next is 1 and the next is 3. Which all are the intervals then? Minus infinity minus 1 is 1 interval. Minus 1, 1 is the second interval. 1, 3 is the third one and 3 infinity is the fourth one. So four intervals are there. Draw the table. We have to write interval. Four intervals are there minus infinity minus 1. Minus 1, 1, 1, 3 and 3 infinity. We have to write the sign of f of f dash x. f dash x is 6 into x plus 1 the whole square into x minus 3 the whole square into x minus 1. And we have to write the nature. Okay. In minus infinity minus 1, can you say a number in between minus infinity and minus 1? We will take minus 2. When I give the value minus 2 here, 6 is already positive into when I give minus 2 here minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 the whole square will be positive again. Here also whatever the value of x is since whole square is there it is again positive. So the first three terms are positive for all values of x only to check whether x minus 1 is positive or negative. So when I give the value of x as minus 2 minus 2 minus 1 becomes negative. So, positive into positive into positive into negative altogether the sign will be negative. Okay. When I put the value of value in between minus 1 and 1, 6 will be positive. Again, x plus 1 the whole square is positive because it is square. Third term, x minus 3 the whole square is also positive. What about x minus 1? Minus 1, 1. Can you name, say a number in between minus 1 and 1? 0. So, if I put 0, 0 minus 1 is negative. So, I will get the total sign as negative. In the case 1, 3, 6 is positive. x plus 1 the whole square is again positive. x minus 3 the whole square is again positive. 1, 3. Can you say a number in between 1 and 3? 2. Okay. So if I put a 2 here, 2 minus 1 is 1. So again positive. So altogether the sign is positive into positive into positive into positive which is positive. And when I give the last one, 6 is positive. 
x plus 1 the whole square is positive whatever value x takes it is positive x minus 3 the whole square is also positive for all values of x again in between 3 and 4 we will take the value 4 so if i substitute x minus 1 x as 4 and x minus 1 4 minus 1 it is again positive so altogether the sign is positive okay since f dash x is negative what we can conclude the nature is strictly decreasing In the second case also it is strictly decreasing at we, as we got the sign of f dash x as negative. In the third interval it is strictly increasing as the sign is positive. And in the fourth case also it is strictly increasing as it is as the sign of f dash x is positive. Okay, so f of x given function is decreasing in minus infinity minus 1 union minus 1 1 and strictly increasing in 1 3 union 3 infinity.